Hi man, Drops, and welcome to the back office teardown lab. You might recognize my tablet of doom here, the back office Venstar. This is the one that died not so long ago and I have really was just about to do something mean to it because I wanted to get rid of it off my shelf and I find sometimes the only way of doing that is to destroy something fully. And then I noticed on the board there was this little Wii Wi-Fi module and I shall try and turn it this way. With the aid of a microscope, I actually managed to read off what this module was. And this module is an RTL 8723AS. And it's this one right here, RTL 8732AS. And uh, I was quite um, interested when I found this on, on my phone. I found the actual data sheet for it. And I'll just show you actually how it works. So, oops, pardon my jerkiness there. But this is the block diagram for the actual module itself. And uh, you can see it consists of a Wi-Fi and a Bluetooth chipset. And here's the actual look tuning circuits for the antennas, the so Wi-Fi port, Bluetooth port. And uh, here's some sort of switch. I guess this is some sort of uh, electronic switch, perhaps, to actually be able to adjust these things coming through this switch control pin. And uh, the SDIO, so this is the actual interface to the module, probably mainly to the Wi-Fi part because it's going to require a high-speed data link. And the Bluetooth part might get away with just this UART, this serial link. Um, you can see some various IOs for the LEDs. It's all powered by a 40 megahertz crystal. And uh, just you can see these sort of various little bits, modules within the actual unit itself and how that uh, is all put together there. My screen's gone dim. Wake up, wake up, Mr. Screen. So it's cute, isn't it? Um, and then what's quite nice, this whole data sheet here actually tells you all the pin functions uh, for everything here, all the GPIO, the pinouts. It's a, it's a pretty standard module. You can just buy it in actually quite large quantities. In fact, I do believe, if I go back, when I actually did search this out, click oh my gosh forget that anyway when I, when I did search it out you could buy this in quantity so I thought we'll save this it's a useful thing so I've got my soldering iron on I'll just clean the tip this is another hot tip for you excuse the pun when you turn your soldering iron off leave a blob of solder on the end and then turn it off because that blob of solder on the end will sort of protect the end and it'll be slightly better to you know good to go next time so I'm just going to try heating the actual pads. Now at this point I'm pretty uh, pretty sure I'm not trying to save this um, unit anymore. Where's my solder flux gone? Someone's been borrowing my solder flux. Luckily I have a big bottle of flux here. While, while, while I'm uh, just, I'm going to decanter some into this syringe because you never have anything to put this sort of liquid flux in. So, luckily enough, I'll use the old thick solder flux syringe. Yeah, that's happy enough to take it. He says, just spilling. I just spilled a whole bunch of flux off the camera. Right, let's zoom back in. A little bit of flux. Sucking the heat out of this board already, look. Arrgh. This is one painful PCB to work with. There, not much solder left on that one. Let's see if we can lever this chip up again. Come on. Come on, there we go. Been so tenacious, unbelievably tenacious. Not to worry. Let's get this out of the way. And we could actually use this to clean up our PCB. Right, so it's slightly bent, and that's not going to be a problem. I've unbent it already. Right. So it's looking a bit sad because it's got a load of gunk still on it. All we need to do is just remove those. Was that easier to see on the dark background? 
Maybe. Let's try that. Seems easier on my eyes. Yeah, I think that's that's probably clean enough. We didn't lose any pads. Apart from that one I just blitzed off. So there you have it everybody. If you want to try you can get this RTL 8723AS module. Unfortunately it doesn't have a USB controller on it as a slave device otherwise I'd have just hooked some wires to here and plugged it straight into a USB. That would have been a really groovy little PCB to use but then you can get those USB to uh, Wi-Fi chips so cheaply now you probably want to use those but yeah have a look inside any of your old tablets and things like that see if there's anything salvageable any modules like that and uh, they can live on your shelf of curiosity as ever please feel free to click subscribe and uh, leave any comments down below thanks for watching